what's up, y'all? Big C coming at you. Late afternoon, raining straight up. We're gonna make it right. Roll call. Story time, story time, story time. <laughs> Look, I haven't done it in a while. People are saying, yo, Big C, tell us some war stories from prison. I know a lot of people don't like war stories straight up, but that's gay, dude. I love war stories. I'm gonna start telling a lot of them, Barry. A lot of them are gonna be violent, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I was a, I was a straight killer. Whoa. Shoot, dude. I did that thing slid out. Dang, bro. Acting fishy. But here's the thing. Today I'm going to be showing y'all a couple of things. And I'm going to edit this together, hopefully. Because I'm going to show you two parts to make your weapons. Da, 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 da. And this is a, for the young people. A lot of kids watch me, idolize me, want to be just like me, want to be the one and only OG. And I understand that completely. I understand that. Good grief. I understand that. But check this out. A lot of people saying, yo, imagine me on the rec yard. Today, I'm going to be telling y'all about weapons. This is for educational purposes. I'm going to tell you about a race war I was involved in when I was at um, Corcoran. Doing a nine-year stretch. I Smiley. He was there. Literally. But I'm going to show y'all why the reputation I got. Like, And I got a blade right there. Now, now these are obviously plastic. This is plastic to make sure I don't want the young people to think I'm glamorizing it, even though I am. War is hell, people say. Straight up, war makes you a man. Straight up. I ain't gonna lie about it. I don't care. So, literally, war, one time I was fighting with, uh, it was it was like me, some, the white dudes on top, as always, everybody pay taxes to us. Straight up. The wood chipper pile, cause straight up, we were slaying people. It was ridiculous. But we were going at it with the black gorilla family, these big old black dudes in some, uh, like some uh, Pisces or some uh, Hispanics. They, I don't know. They, they have different names. They're all the same. <laughs> Straight up. Um, no offense. Just fact. So this is my thing. On the wreck yard, I always be standing there literally just making money. And I kept my shirt like this. And this is on purpose because usually I would tie. You put like a lock in a sock. People say lock in a sock. Bruh, put a lock in a t-shirt. Because watch this, imagine a big old black dude comes up to you and say, man, we got to solve this right now. And I kept my blade right here like this. And literally, someone come up to me, I said, bah! Literally cracked the skull. So imagine this. We were standing there, this was by like the chin-up bars and stuff. So all these, all these Southsiders start running at us, these black dudes start coming at me. Just imagine all, them, all my other white dudes, and we'd be like this, waiting like this. I could go for my shirt that has a lock in it. But imagine me, a big dude, sitting, standing here. But see, what I was known for was some big, as k would say, some bangers. Yeah. But these things weren't called bangers. I literally, what I'm about to show y'all straight up, I would make these. I can make two a week of these. Straight up. All my white, solid Caucasian dudes were strapped with what I'm about to show you. Imagine all these black dudes coming at us, little Hispanic dudes, and it's a straight race war. Which we never started. It was over cell phones and heroin. I'm not even going to lie. So clear that we dominated the scene. But imagine this, and just when they were about to get to you, you're like, yo, because they would put like six dudes on me straight up. I'm be, I be as scary as I am with this little blade. Check this out. Imagine all these gangsters coming at me like this, and then you see my hand go back like this. I ain't going to scratch my butt. Just check this out. So, and I come out just like this. Ooh, la, la. So, you come over the top, get your little Mexican, stab me little black dude, just like that. Now, look, dude, it, I left all that behind me in prison just straight up. But I'm going to show you that in slow motion. Hold up. So look, imagine they're coming at me by the, the break bars, like six of them. Just like this, I'm standing there, slow motion. I come out like this. And it matters how you come around like that. So if it was a Hispanic gang member come at me for, he's a little bit shorter. I would just, shah, go to the top for the black dude. But say the black dude, the big old tall brother, got to me first. I would come up like this. And just come at the little, you know, the south side like that. And I know what you're saying, yo, Big Sid. Is there any, like, surveillance video on prison about this? Yeah, if you Google, let me think about the year. Like 2012 or something in Corcoran. You will see me, little Big Sid, and you will see me on there standing like this. But this is, this is the reason the Caucasians dominated the California prison system for nine years when I was locked up. Because these are the straight bangers. The average prison banger. Look at that right there. This is what I this is what we were rock, rock, uh, rocking with on the prison yard. These were shoestrings, cause literally the blood would run down there, and the shoestring right there would be a good hand grip. And you don't want the hand slipping on the blade when you're going to war, like a race war, especially straight up. I don't like to see it, but it happens. 
This right here is a belt buckle for like the state issued belts at that time was still metal. And you could put one on there, it's called a handguard. You can look at the history book straight up. It's like the way of the warrior, something like that. Also, I had like a couple of charities. I just stabbed myself in the chest. That's the reason I use plastic ones to show y'all about war in prison. Straight up. But in prison, I had like two charities just like this, right? I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. I'll show y'all a magic trick. Check, let me do some. How am I going? Hold up. Check this out. I just straight up thought of this, bro. Check this out. Right here, I'm going to make this piece of candy disappear from my left hand. This has nothing to do with the race war, but y'all going to trip on this, especially if you smoke it. Check this out. I'm going to put it in my hand. Watch. 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 Oh! <laughs> y'all see that? Boy, straight up, dude. Rewind that and watch that again straight. I have nothing to do with anything. But the point is, dude, that's as serious as the thing will get when we were in prison. And that's the reason I dominate, the reason I'm an OG, the reason I, ta I tax all the dudes, the reason Smiley, the reason, uh, what's up, tribe? All them dudes, the reason, and they can vouch for me, Wes Watson can vouch for me straight up, dude, because I was the only dude in California prisons that had bangers this big. Straight up, dude. Yeah. Hit Miley up on Instagram, hit him up in the comment section, he'll vouch for me straight up. But literally, I don't know if we have time for this. I'll make that my next video because I'm going to show y'all how to make some knives in my next video. But literally, when people ask you, look, dude, don't tell war stories. Tell them straight up, bro. War stories show and it's the proof positive. The proof that I'm an OG. So literally, don't ever come to my comment section saying I ain't been in wars in California. I got like a little rash right there. Granny, is that ringworm? No, that's I'm not allergic to the proteins. Trust me. If it was a little bit lower, it'd be a hickey, but nah, dude, it's like a ringworm or something, some kind of rat, eczema or something gay like that. So don't be asking about that. But literally, dude, that's the truth. I dominate the California prison scene, and once again, OG status. You gotta wait till you see what I got planned for the next couple of weeks with my videos.